All right, before we actually work some application problems, there are some things that we need to go over, um, things that you really need to be aware of before you do anything else. And these are key words right here, very, very important that you know. Things like when we see words like plus or more, more than, added to, increased by, so on and so forth, these are the words that mean addition. So that's going to tell you what operation that you need to do in the problem. Then we also have a list of words for subtraction, things like less, subtracted, subtracted from, difference. Anytime you see those, that means subtraction. We also have a list for multiplication, things like product. If we say double, that means two times something. Triple would be three times something. The nice word that we use a lot is of. Anytime we talk about, you know, half of something, that's a multiplication problem. So we need to know that anytime we see those words, that means multiplication. We also have a list for division. Here we have divided by, quotient, um, divide equally, and per. That's a nice word. Whenever you hear things like miles per hour, that's a division problem. Then we also have key words for equals. So whenever we say things like is or the same as, uh, results in, those are key words that means equals. So if you need to, if you don't have a textbook or something that has these keywords in it, you might want to pause the video and just write these down because these are very, very important to know before you move on. Now, there's a word of caution here. When we hear the word and, a lot of times we think of addition. Whenever we hear things like, you know, two and five. Well, generally that does mean to add two things. When we say and, it means to join. But the word and does not always mean addition. A lot of times it just tells you two different numbers. So for instance, we have um, a sentence here that says the sum of 6 and 2. Well, think about it this way. The sum, that's a key word for addition right here. So we're going to be adding. Well, when we add, we can't just add one thing. We have to add two things together. So if we're going to be adding two things together, we have to say, okay, what are we going to add? Well, those are these two things, 6 and 2. Those are our add. Now, that doesn't just mean addition, though. It could mean dif uh, subtraction. Difference is a key word for subtraction. Remember, we talked about that up here, for difference. When you subtract things, you can't subtract one thing. You have to subtract using two items. So what are the two items that we're subtracting here? It tells us 6 and 2. So again, the word and here does not mean addition. It's just telling you what two items, this and that, this one and that one, okay? And that goes for all of the operations, actually. All right, now we have a list here of some steps that will hopefully help you to be able to solve word problems or application problems. They're just word problems. Step one says to read the problem carefully and be certain you understand what the problem is asking. It may be necessary to read the problem several times. That's true. Read it carefully. Try and figure out what they're talking about. Step two says before doing any calculations, work out a plan. Try to visualize the problem. True. Draw a picture if you can. Try and think about what they're saying and what's going on. Step three, they say estimate a reasonable answer. Just kind of think about what would be possible. Step four says solve the problem. Step five says state the answer. And step six is to always check your work. See if it makes sense. All right. Now, there is a word of caution here. This is so very important. It says, be certain that you know what the problem is asking before you try to solve it. If you don't know what it is that they're asking you, then you can't even begin to work the problem.